Hey my friend, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I will tell you how to install Eclipse IDE on Mac. So what you are going to do, you are going to head over to an internet browser. In my case, it's Google Chrome. And in the search bar, you are going to type Eclipse download. You hit enter and then you click on the first organic search result. That is from the website www.eclipse.org, which is the official website of Eclipse. All right. So we are going to head over to this section. Now, if your Mac is on M1 or M2 chip, then you are going to click on this button. But if your Mac is on Intel, then you are going to click this button. My Mac is running on Intel processor. So I am going to click on this button. And you can see that the DMG file is waiting for us to install it. So I'm going to click on the download button and it's going to begin the download. As you can see, the download is in progress. A few seconds left and there you go. The download is completed. Now I'm going to click on this DMG file. So I'm inside the downloads folder where the recently downloaded .dmg file is. I'm going to double click on it to open it. You can see it's opening. Okay. And the Eclipse installer has opened. Now, once you reach here, you will have to click on this icon, which says Eclipse installer. So I'm going to double click on it and it is opening. You can see. All right. It says Eclipse installer is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I'm very much sure. So I'm going to click on the open button and the installer is opening. Awesome. Now we have the installer in front of us. And you can see it's offering various Eclipse IDs for us to install, such as Eclipse ID for Java developers. And then there is Eclipse ID for C, C++ developers. Then there is one for PHP developers. However, we are very much interested in installing the Eclipse ID for Java developers. So I'm going to click on this option. There is one good thing that is happening these days. That is when you try to install Eclipse, Java gets tagged along. That means when you install Eclipse, Java also gets installed in your Mac automatically along with it. And this saves you the overhead of installing Java separately. You can choose which Java to install from here. I'm going to stick to JDK 19 and you can also choose the installation folder. That means the folder in which you want Eclipse to be installed. I am going to stick to this one only. So now it's time to click on the install button. Let me click that. All right. It's asking me to accept this user agreement. So I'm going to straight away click on accept now. And you can see the installation has begun. It's going to take a few seconds, I think. All right, it said that the installation completed successfully and now we are ready to launch Eclipse. So I'm going to click on the launch button. Let me close this windows. Okay, so it's asking me to select a directory as workspace. An Eclipse workspace is a folder on the disk where the project and application files are stored. So I'm going to stick to this one only and I'm also going to check this checkbox so that it doesn't ask me again. And then I'm going to click on the launch button. You can see the Eclipse ID is starting and it has started. Now let's create a new project and run a Java program. So I'm going to click on file and then new and then I'm going to click on Java project. There you go. It's asking me a project name. So now I'm going to enter a project name. Let it be first Eclipse demo. All right. And then I'm going to select this option, user project specific JRE, and I'm going to stick to Java SE 19. All other options are correct. So I am going to click on next. I look at the project structure. It looks good. So I'm going to click on finish. I think the project is created. So I'm going to cancel this welcome screen. And there you go. This is my project first Eclipse demo. Now it's time to add a new class to our project. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to click on the SRC folder, then right click again on it. 
go to new and then click on class this is going to create a new class within this project okay it's asking me for the name and i would give the name of the class as hello world and of course i can type a package name as well so let it become dot joystick and i want a main method inside my class automatically generated so i'm going to check this option as well and i'm going to click on finish and it has created a class for me now let's run this so when i run this class i want it to display hello world on the console so for that i'm going to write system dot out dot print ln and i'm going to type in hello world within quotes let's just eliminate this extra w and semicolon and before we run this class we'll have to save it so i'm going to press command s and that's going to save this class now i'm going to go to my project right click on it go to run as then java application and there you go if you can see hello world is printed on the console and we have successfully created a java class within a newly created project within the newly installed eclipse id on mac and when you are done go to your desktop right click on this icon that says eclipse installer and click on this option that says eject eclipse installer it's because you don't need the installer anymore with this we have come to the end of this video i hope this video helps you to install eclipse id in your mac do subscribe to joystick for more such videos i'll see you in the next video of joystick till then goodbye and take very good care of yourself